Hi guys, this is the next video in everything I've ever colored. The last video, um, it was getting a little long, so I decided um, I would just start up a new one. So in this one, I'm going to be basically showing you all my Jade Summer books and what I've colored in my Jade Summer books. And I have quite a few. <laughs> uh, after I pulled everything, I, I, I think I only have like five Jade Summer books that I haven't colored in. So I have colored in pretty much my whole collection of Jade Summers. And yeah, we'll just kind of get started. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, sit back, relax, have a drink, and we'll get started. So the first one you guys have just recently seen, because I showed this one in my completed pages, um, I have, this is cute and lovely, by the way, uh, coloring book by Jade Summer. I didn't tab this one. I just threw it on top because it was a Jade Summer. I've done this one. I think this one turned out super adorable. I used stencils on the background and it's alcohol markers. And there is some gel pen, glitter gel pen on here as well. And then I also did the snakes. And there is um, a dual metallic gel pen stripes in the background. And so that's how that one turned out. Really cute book. Next book I have here is Fairies by Jade Summer. A uh, grayscale coloring book, and I've only done one in this one. I can pull it. <laughs> Stick together. This one's actually a pretty good book. I like this one. Um, this is how this turned out. Um, I have alcohol markers and gel pens, and um, with the table, I decided not to color it. I just shaded it slightly with kind of like an orangey tan color because I thought there was enough color going on in this page and you can see the different gel pen shines and this green up here is Moonlight Jolly Roll. Next one I have, uh, I'm not too thrilled about it I'll first say, uh, but I'm trying to show you all my pages even if they're not my favorite. This is um, Cute Fairies, Jade Summer, the grayscale one, and this is the one, and I just, uh, it's just too dark, it's not, it's not vivid enough for me, um, it was a buddy color, so of course I finished it, but yeah, this is how it turned out, and I put like, um, acrylic glitter paint on her wings, and yeah, like I said, she's not my favorite. I wish I would have done different things. Her eyes are cool though. Think about the positives here. Her eyes are cool. <laughs> um, let me see. I don't think there's duplicates in here. Yeah, I don't think there's duplicates. Let's see if I see another. Oh, there is duplicates. So there is another opportunity that I can color her again and maybe make her the way I want it to be. But this is what I did in this book so far. This one is really, really warped. I've done some in Cute and Spooky Coloring Book by Jade Summer. This is one of their newer ones too. I did this one. Love how he turned out. This was a buddy color, I remember. I added the bone right here so that you could that's what you would see if there was a hole in his pants. So, what rolled with it? It reminds me of Ghost Rider. And I did this one. Gel pens and markers. And the background, I colored with marker, but then I went over with Jane Davenport pastels to give kind of like this cloudy appearance, which I really like. So I'll have to do that technique more often. And you don't have to worry about markers leaving lines when you do this technique because it doesn't matter because you're covering it up. Did this one. This one was a buddy color as well. And there's gel pens and markers. Uh, gel crayon background. 
and then the last one was this one and it's um, alcohol markers and gel pens of course and washi tape this was a timed challenge I needed to color something within 45 minutes next one I have here is easy Halloween coloring book and this one I just colored this one this is totally straight coloring no additional shading just pick the marker color be done so that's how this one turned out I kept on wanting to go in and do additional shading but I wanted to challenge myself with just doing a straight color next one I have is country autumn by Jade summer and I did this one the piglet and this one was a uh, basically mixed media labor of love um, we got alcohol markers we've got gel crayon we've got colored pencils pastel colored pencils uh, heath thrown woodless watercolor pencils um, gel pen uh, glitter nail polish uh, we've got washi tape now I'm going to tell you guys a little secret or trick I put a base of gel stick King's Art gel stick on this barrel the brown like I took it right off the stick with my water brush and put it on here kind of like watercolor and then I went over the top with alcohol marker and I don't know what it is and the consistency of that gel crayon but created like a base or like a barrier and the alcohol marker the, okay we're looking at the brown see where I didn't go all the way but it doesn't bleed through the gel crayon, crayon base which is very interesting to me um, it's kind of interesting to find uh, things like that that don't bleed through so yeah but that's how this one turned out I just had fun with it a good time I haven't colored anything else in here, but just that one. Next one I have here is Kawaii Christmas by Jade Summer. This is the grayscale version. I did the first girl. I didn't love coloring the tree, I will be honest, because it just was like a green tree. You know, I just wasn't feeling it. And then my window got all blotched up, but she looks cute, so I don't know what matters. Did this one. I like this one a lot better. Um, the reindeer is kind of blotchy. It's alcohol markers, but I think I didn't have consistent alcohol marker flow, so there's blotches and lines, but it's still cute. I have Christmas Mandala's coloring book by Jade Summer. And I did this one, so all of these look like Buddy the Elf off of the Elf movie. And this one, this book was actually gifted to me. I put some Pentel Sparkle Pop on this page, so that was fun. I have the Sloth Coloring Book, which is absolutely adorable. Also by Jade Summer. Did this one. I think this one was a Buddy Color. I think it was with Sophie. I used to keep little things right here telling me, but uh, they fall out and yeah. So I think it's really cute. It's gel pen and markers. I actually really like this book. I just think it's cute. But I like sloths too. There's this one. This one has a story to it. Um, I had this light blue marker and I was going and going. And then it was dying right here. I was like, ah! So <laughs> I hurried and grabbed this green marker because it's the same tone as this blue and kind of, <laughs> yeah, we faked it. We faked it. It's the ombre effect, right? <laughs> so that's how that one turned out. There was some yellowing. It looks like this brown that I used on the eyes. Some yellowing. 
This one was a split color with my husband. He colored this side and I colored this side with just alcohol markers. The next one I have here is Kawaii Grayscale Coloring Book by Jade Summer. I like this one a lot, uh, this book. This one is my um, geisha girl, but she doesn't have a white face, so I don't know if she's a geisha, she's just an oriental girl. And I do like the background on this. It has enough visual interest. I just like how it looks. And she's got glitter gel pen on her kimono. And I did this one, the art girl. She was a lot of fun. I colored her on a Sunday, I remember. Like how she turned out. And this was the first one I colored in the book. So I made her look like Rosetta off of the Tinkerbell movie. And she's got glitter gel pen and stickles on her wings. And white gel pen as well. And I love how she came out. Still one of my favorites. I have Alice in Wonderland uh, by Jade Summer, the grayscale image one. And I've done this one. This one was a buddy color too. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure to leave some of the roses white because she's painting the roses red. Because if you remember the film, they were white roses and that's, and then she painted them red. And there's glitter gel pen on there too. And then I did this one, and this one was a buddy color with Emma Colors. Remember that, because that was in March 2021. So he's the king of hearts. I like how he turned out. I have the anime coloring book. This one. I did this one, the schoolgirls. This one I had on my Spin the Wheel app, and this one came up, and so it's around school time, I think, and that's why I chose this picture. It's just alcohol markers. I don't think I did any massive shading. I think I tried to on the tree, and I just wasn't feeling it, so I just kept it pretty simple, and I think it works. Looks good. I have Baby Dragons by Jade Summer, and did this one. It's a limited color palette, and there is some gel pen on this one as well. Like how it turned out. Limited color palettes are really fun in books like this, and alcohol markers basically. And then I did this one as well. And this is alcohol markers gel pens and there's some shading on this little baby dragon uh, with pencils and this um, like white smeary effect what you do is you take your um, gel pen and before it dries just smear it with your finger to give that kind of effect and it's kind of a cool effect when you're trying to look for something like that especially since I wanted this to look different than this I have Geometric um, Mandala's coloring book, and here's the first one I did. I love how this one turned out. It was, like, it was like, oh, well, I love how this turned out. I want to do another one. I really like how it looks like gemstones, and then I did this one. Mm, not so gemstone -y. I think I just didn't do enough shading to it. It's okay. It's fine. And then I did this one, which re reminds me of Rapunzel. Kind of gives me um, Princess of the Frog vibes a little bit, too. But yeah, that's how that one turned out, too. Next one I have is in Unicorns by Jade Summer. I keep saying by Jade Summer. Yeah, they're all by Jade Summer. <laughs> I did this one. 
forever ago. That's the only one I've done in this book. It's a really cute book. Added some additional gel pen. But this is pretty much straight coloring. I didn't do any additional shading. You don't really need to in these grayscale books. This is a really cute book, by the way. I have colored in this one, Intricate Night and Dolls coloring book. And this one, I actually saw on someone else's channel. I think they had completed this book. And I saw all of their mandalas and I, I thought, oh, those just look so busy. But then I thought, I'm gonna try one. And they're not too bad. Um, I just did gel pens, uh, glitter gel pen. And this is how it turned out. See how glittery and stuff. Looks like my spine is kind of um, breaking away here, but that's okay. After time, I can put a piece of washi as I'm turning it, or I can even take some hot glue and put it in there, and it will be fine. But the girl that did the whole book, she actually went over every mandala she did in this book with extreme glitter mosh posh and it was looked awesome so that's the only one i've done in here though all right my um grayscale two books and one to be girls i've done a lot in this book um because i did a lot of buddy colors oh my goodness it's like dirty what can i say it's like well seasoned rub that off this is the nice thing about having the shiny covers. They wipe off easily. And we'll just start the beginning. So there's that one. And you kind of just see a pattern of gel pens and um, alcohol markers pretty much. Nothing too major. I didn't do like additional shading and pencils or anything. I kept it pretty simple because that's what I wanted to do in this book. Just keep it simple for myself. I haven't done the ballerina. Next tab. That one. Like how she came out. She's cute. Like her eyes. My cowgirl. And what's nice about this book is there was no duplicates. I don't think they offer this book anymore, but you can get the four in one. This one, I purposely chose to leave the background grayscale because I could imagine this picture being in um, a frame on someone's desk and they literally chose to just have the pop of color on her and her motorcycle and I wanted a yellow motorcycle so yeah there's my magician it was the first time I ever used the black Pentel sparkle pop and I realized that after you used it it turns red so yeah learned about that one school girl Gotta have black and white tiles. Um, the Eskimo Girl. I hate my sky on this one. But it is what it is. I mean, can't change it. I mean, I could change it by putting black acrylic paint all over it. Or white. But I'll just leave it. My Kitty Girl. And we've got lots of sparkle pop going on there. My runner, this one was a buddy color as well. My fireman. And there was yellowing from my fireman. Just kind of a bummer, but it's okay. This was another buddy color. The bathtub scene. I've done the golfing girl. 
And the business woman. She was my most latest in this book. So I still have quite a few in here, but I've done quite a few as well. I have Live Your Dreams coloring book, and this one is full of positive inspirational quotes. I did this one, Beauty Comes From Within. I think this is very simple and beautiful. I like it. Occasionally I'm in the mood to color words. And then I did this one, it says life goes on. I think I was um, trying to color something with the lighthouse prompt. This looked like a lighthouse to me, so yeah. I have Light and Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. Well, they're all by Jade Summer. This was the first one I colored. I actually forgot about her. And then when I was looking through my books, I'm like, <laughs> so she turned out all right and this is kind of a unique book this one um i colored this was my daughter's pick actually i told her to go pick me a coloring book off of my shelf she picked this book and i said pick me a page and she picked this page and i told her to pick the colors and this is what she picked and um, Luckily, this is grayscale because she didn't pick me a gray, so I just left all of this uncolored to give the gray appearance of the columns. And then I colored this one. All right, well, I colored this one before those others, but yeah. Something about this was giving me um, Edward Cullen and Bella vibes even though I did their hair colors different. Just the scene in general. Very romantic. Just have a few more. Uh, stained glass patterns. And I've only done one and I did this one. This one's very bright in your face, but I like it. If I saw a stained glass window similar to this in someone's window, I would really like it. <laughs> then I have um, Lazy Animals by Jade Summer. And I've done this one. And this one's a recent one. He turned out cute. Uh, with my Pixar ball. I like how my clown looks. And um, he's like, get up you lazy thing. <laughs> and then I did this one a long time ago. This one was a buddy color with a friend. And I feel like this sheep. This is me in the morning, literally. So I put number one mom on the mug. <laughs> because I'm like, oh, is it time to get up? <laughs> but I like how that this is a really cute book, by the way. And then this one, I thought I did more than one. Because I remember doing another witch image, but I couldn't find it. This is Cute uh, Witches by Jade Summer. So I remember doing this one. This one was a buddy color recently with um, Chelsea, uh, Jade Murray. And I love how this turned out. I love my color choices. I think the stickles adds a little bit of magical flair. I just love how it turned out. But I swear I had another witch, witch picture. Oh, it's right there. I just didn't mark it. Yeah. I was going to say, I swear I have, did another one. And I did this one. This one was a buddy color as well. And I love how I did white for the magic. It really pops off the page. And I really like how this one turned out. This one was 1121, so November, not too long ago. Uh, so that was the last one I'm gonna show for this video. Um, I still have quite a few more books to share with you. Um, I have quite a collection, so I just go from shelves to shelves to shelves 
and show you what I've colored in the books. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and love to see these colorings. It's kind of fun to take a trip back through memory lane. So I hope you guys all have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye friends.